Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stu and the crew. I'm Rebecca and today we have some Dollar Tree DIYs for you guys, your easy winter crafts. So let's go over our supplies first. The first thing we're going to need will be this spray foam. You can get this at Dollar General for $4.75. Also, we're going to be needing some gloves to protect our hands and then the mini tree from Dollar Tree. Also some of their wired garland ties. They need also some fake snow. This is optional. I'm gonna use this ornament glitter and then just some regular bottles of glitter. And that is also optional. Next, we're going to be using one of these pencil cups from Dollar Tree and some of their wired garland. Then we'll use the berries that come in the bags over by the craft supplies and these little star stickers. We'll also use some of the burlap ribbon. This is the wired ribbon. And then we'll need some scissors and a hot glue gun and some wire cutters or dog nail clippers. We're also going to use some nonstick parchment paper. So let's get crafty. The first thing we're going to do is take our wire ties and we have them laying on top of parchment paper, which is very important. And we're going to use the spray foam and just spray out a small minimal amount. This is really going to fluff up, but we're just adding fake snow to the trees and this is a great way to do it. So as you can see, I'm just putting on a little tiny bit and then I take the um, tube that they have that you can attach to the bottle and just smearing it around on the um, garland ties. Now, you'll see how big these get at the end. Um, after about an hour or so, they really fluffed up. So this looks like a tiny little bit to put on, but I'm telling you less is more because it is really going to fluff up and uh, get a lot bigger and you don't want to add too much depending on the size of the tree that you're going to decorate. Now, if you're doing a large tree, you might want the snow piles a lot bigger, but because we're going to be doing this on one of the small dollar tree, mini trees, we want to do uh, a lot less. So while the foam is still wet and tacky, we're going to add the snow crystals and the glitter. So those are those little ornament balls uh, that we found. And they sell those in two different colors. By the way, you can get them in the clear and in blue. And then I just have this white glitter. So you just sprinkle that on and it'll stick right to the fake snow and look like ice crystals. And it really makes it pop, which I think is really pretty. And as you can see, that snow is really fluffed up on the end of those garland ties. So now we'll let those dry and then we'll start making our tree. Now for the... Um, little holder here the pencil cup if you want to you can just fill it with the spray foam and let that dry while you're waiting for the wire ties to dry and then you'll be able to use that to stick your floral into but I am just going to use a pool noodle because I have some um, that are already cut up and I'm trying to use up all the pieces so what you're going to do is just fill around the cup there and I like the pool noodle because I can put the hole right in the middle and I remove the end of the tree and then I can take that and stick it right in the center of that that pool noodle to help hold it in place and then once we have it there and make sure it's not going to fall out it's nice and tight then we're just going to go ahead and replace the tree all right then they're pretty good you don't need any extra glue it's not going to come out and now we are going to take this um garland that they have it's wired and the dog nail clippers we're going to cut some pieces off and we're going to fill in around the bottom of the tree first and that is to cover up that red pool noodle and then I added some more throughout the tree um, and then I am going to take those uh pieces that we added the fake snow we're also going to use those to fill in the tree so if you've ever bought one of these little trees from dollar tree you know they're pretty sparse there's not a lot of greenery in them so it's really nice to be able to fill them in with the garland it's on a wire so you just wrap it around the center and just make sure they're different lengths if they're too long just cut them down and just keep filling in the holes as you can see i've got it pretty filled in here and then i take the ones that we put the fake snow on I cut those in half and I just glue those to the tree now you could do the same process just wrap it around the tree since they are wire and you can do it that way if you like but I wanted to um, kind of spread mine out a little bit further which is why I cut them in half and chose to just 
glued them to the tree. And this is so fun. They just look like little piles of snow that have fallen onto the branches. The glitter really sparkles. I wish you guys could see it better on camera. It doesn't show up as well as I hoped it would on the camera, but in person, it's so cute to have those little ice crystals. It looks so realistic. So then taking these little berries, they sell them two ways with the snow and without, and some um, like small pine cones that I got last year from Dollar Tree. Um, there's just like a vase filler bag. I'm going to start filling in the tree with just some natural um, pieces like the berries and the pine cones because I really wanted to just make this look like an outdoor tree with a couple natural elements on it. So now we're going to take these three wooden stickers and we are going to add just a little bit of hot glue to the corners and we're going to stick them together to create a tree topper that we can just slide right on top of the tree. So I held them in place while the glue dried for just a second. And then I'll add the third star here. And again, these are just the stickers from the sticker packs that they sell over in the craft section. And you don't have to use stars. They have trees, they have candy canes. There's lots of different ones you could use as a tree topper, or you could even put a bow and just do your own idea. It's really up to you. But that's what the topper looks like I'll put together. And then we'll just slide that right on top of the tree. And then I decided I wanted to decorate the um, holder that it was in. So I took some of this ribbon. I fold it in half and glue it in a few spots so it will stay folded. Taking another piece and I'm going to fold that on top of itself. And let's pinch it together in the middle. And then take another small piece. And we're going to wrap that around the center of the bow. And then to keep it attached, we're just going to add some hot glue. And you'll want to hold this in place for a few seconds while it dries, just to make sure that your bow stays together. It's a very easy, simple way to make a bow. You want to go ahead and keep pinching it and adding more glue if you need it just to make sure that it is put on there pretty tight you don't want the bow to pop open and then trim off any random strings that might have popped up while you were trimming it down so now we'll attach this to the holder i probably should have done this first but i thought of it after the fact so all i did was i took a little bit of glue and add it to the cup and then wrap the ribbon around it, cut down the excess, and then just glue the ribbon on top of itself. And I made sure it was pretty straight. And then right there where that opening is, where you can see that we had the overlap, that's why we put our bow, and that will help hide that overlap. And I added a few little gold leaves to the bow just because I had them, and I thought it would be pretty to add to the um, front of this, help decorate it just a little bit. And so that's our tree, nice and natural, not too hard. I mainly wanted to show you how to add the fake snow to the trees. Um, you know, you can use this, like I said, on a big tree, you can use the wire garland and pre-make them, just let them dry and then add them to your um, big Christmas tree. And, or you could, you know, of course, use it for smaller trees, wreaths, there's lots of uses for it. So now for craft number two, the supplies we're going to be need again is going to be the spray foam now this is optional you could use pool noodles for this it's really up to you we'll need some parchment paper and some gloves and then we're going to need some twine also we'll use this birch ribbon from dollar tree and then the double-sided tape that they sell we'll need that some hot glue and some scissors and then some paper towel tubes or gift wrap tubes we'll use these berries again and some little pine cones and then we'll need some of uh, the paintbrush and Mod Podge and then fake snow, which is up to you, and the wire garland ties. If you would like to use those, it's really up to you how you want to decorate yours. So let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to do, since I'm going to be using the spray foam, again, you can just use um, pool noodles and cut them down to size and use the same, make the same project here. They're just going to be a little bit bigger. So all I'm going to do is fill up these tubes with the spray foam. They take about two hours to dry because they're not that big. 
and um, you don't want to have too much come out the end like that one I had too much come out the end because you're going to get some that really pops out the end once it expands once it expands out past the ends before you remove the tube you're just going to grab hold of the foam that comes off of the ends and you could either cut it off or just grab it and pull it off and the tubes are just like a one-time use because you'll have to rip them off of the um, spray foam to remove it so that's why I have so many um, I wanted to make a couple of these now we're going to be making logs so we want these at some various length um, but you can cut them after the fact so I, that's why I have all the tubes about the same length here so again I just let it dry for about one to two hours and then I remove it with a razor blade just kind of like peeling it like you would peel um, a carrot or an apple yeah I'm just lifting up the corners of the tube and then pull and it comes off quite easily um, it just sticks to the tube a little bit which is why it's a little bit cumbersome it takes a minute to get it all off but it's not hard to do just you know pop on a show you like to watch and peel off all of the cardboard and in no time at all you'll have all of the cardboard off of all of the tubes and then you can use them for these crafts which are just so much fun to make i'm so excited how these looked when we were finished making them um, but as you can see the ends are a little rough because i ripped off the ends um, but that's okay we're going to actually trim these up a little bit so then we're going to take that birch ribbon and then these tubes and we'll start making the logs so i'm just going to trim off those edges just make them look a little bit neater we're not going to see the edges all that much but just so i had a nice end to work with i was trimming off the ends uh, just to make sure it was a little bit easier to work with because some of them were a little bit rough so I did three different sizes here. One of them's actually a little bit larger in circumference. And then I have two that were smaller. So one was a paper towel tube and one of the, uh, the other two I used a gift wrap tube. So they're different sizes, which I like because logs aren't all the same size around. So that's why I did that. So now I'm just going to measure how much of this ribbon we're going to need to wrap around the um, foam is what I'm doing here. Once I have it measured, then I'll just use that uh, first piece to measure the rest of the pieces that we'll need and I'll pre-cut a bunch of these so that I have them ready to go and each one took about maybe five or six pieces it wasn't too much you need one for each end and then the rest to fill in the middle so we're going to take one piece of that uh, square ribbon and we're going to fold it over the end of our tube so you just fold it in half and then grasp the ends and you're just going to kind of fold it like you would like a gift wrap um it took me a second to kind of figure out how to wrap it but you're literally just going to fold that top down and then i took a little bit of masking tape and i just taped this down to hold it in place now you're not going to see that masking tape just make sure it's not too close to the edge because you do need to cover it with ribbon so we'll do some double-sided tape and we're just going to wrap that around the end and then you'll remove the second piece of tape that's on the backing to show the sticky part and then i have a piece of tape also on this piece of ribbon and we'll just stick it on here and then roll and then once we get it almost closed we'll take that little piece of paper off of the second piece of tape that i've already attached to the ribbon and we'll just continue to roll it and now we have our first piece of ribbon on so it's so easy to do you're literally just taping this on so then we'll do the next part you're just going to overlap onto the birch log and then we've got our second piece of um, ribbon here it's already got the piece of tape on the end and then i'll just overlap make sure you do the creases on the same side so when you roll it the creases will always be on the back and then remove that second piece of tape and finish taping down the second piece and so it just takes a few minutes to wrap these with this birch ribbon it's okay if it's a little bumpy it's a log it's going to look a little bit bumpy um, i just love these so much i did all three and then all we're going to do is glue these together to help hold them where we would like them to be as you can see they're different lengths and then we'll put the bigger one on top because it's a little bit shorter than the rest and then we'll take some twine and we'll tie these together in the center. So 
once I have it tied in a knot, all I'm going to do is take some twine and wrap it around a few times until it looks like we have it all bundled up. And you can put as much or as less as you want on here. You could use ribbon if you like. Um, if you don't want to use twine, they have different colors of twine out sometimes around this uh, time of year. They'll have red and green. You could also use those. That would be pretty, but I just wanted to stick with the natural brown. So once I have it all bundled up here, we'll just cut off the end and then we'll attach it with some hot glue. So now I have these little green pieces that came in that base filler from last year. And I'm going to glue those around the log to make it look like little pieces of the trees kind of growing out from it. You can use those garland wire ties from Dollar Tree and get kind of the same look. You'll just want to cut them apart into different pieces so you can attach them. And I have these tiny little pine cones. Again, those came from the vase filler bags from Dollar Tree last year. I just had some left over. And we're just going to fill in all around the greenery. And we'll just keep adding pieces until we feel like it has enough. I felt like the middle was pretty bare, so I decided to go ahead and add some greenery to the middle as well. There's some little tiny dried flowers in that bag that I got from Dollar Tree. There's like gold, white, and red. So I added a few of those. And then I added just a little bit of greenery to the top and then the back. Again, I always try to decorate my craft so that the back looks nice. So if you can think about where you want to put it or you're not quite sure, no matter where it ends up, it looks nice and finished all the way around. So I just went ahead and decorated what I would consider to be the back of this as well to make sure it looked nice on all angles. And we just attached all the pieces with hot glue. You don't want to do too much hot glue. It will melt the ribbon um, because it's kind of thin. So, you know, less is more. Don't add a ton of hot glue when you're attaching these little pieces. I noticed that the ribbon did want to melt if I added too much. So now we're going to take the Mod Podge and we're going to just brush that right on top of the log. And you can use any fake snow that you have. These are actually shredded shopping bags, the little white bags. I bought these a couple years ago. It was a huge bag and I only needed a little bit, uh, but that was all they sold it as. And I've been using it probably for like five years now, but it's literally just shredded up plastic to look like snow. But again, Dollar Tree sells a couple different versions of snow that you could use here. And then after I added the fake snow, um, from the bags and I took a little bit of white glitter and I sprinkled that on top also. I made sure I decorated like the berries. I put a little bit of Mod Podge on top of the berries there so I could add snow to those so that it would look like some ice crystals just kind of fell and froze on top of the logs and the berries. And then we'll just let these dry for a few hours and then our project is finished. And this is what they look like all done. I am absolutely in love with these. I think this is probably one of my favorites of the year so far that I've made. Every year I have like a favorite craft that I'll do for each season. And this definitely I think is going to be one of those top uh, favorites of mine because I really love how realistic they look. They're so light. It's kind of funny to hand them to someone. They're expecting it to have a little bit of weight to it and they weigh practically nothing. They're uh, really cute. You could put these under your fake tree, put them over by the fireplace. There's lots of different places you could put this to decorate. And I just love how they look. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these fake logs with me today and then how to do the fake snow on the trees just to give them a little bit more um, realistic beauty for the holiday season. I love these so much and I hope you guys do too. Don't forget we do Dollar Tree videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and DIY videos on Thursdays. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you haven't done so already. And here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy. Have a great day, everyone.